Hello booktube! Okay, so I'm doing my October wrap-up today. Um, I just cut my hair so it's different and I don't know if I like it yet, so please don't leave me mean comments about it. Um, okay, so this is just all the books I've read in October. Pretty simple, not a new concept. Okay, um, so first I read Coyote Dog Girl, which I did a review of, and I'll link that there. I tried. <laughs> Um, this I, I really did enjoy. Um, it's by the same person who illustrated the BoJack Horseman series on Netflix, so I picked it up because of that. Um, and it's a really short, easy read, um, but the art's really beautiful. Um, you can see him. She does this, like, these anthropomorphic people. Um, yeah. Anyway, I liked that. I think I gave it five stars. All right. Um, next I read Where the Crawdads Sing. This is my book club book for the month. Um, and I think I also reviewed it. I think I reviewed it. Go watch that book if I reviewed it. Um, this is about a girl who's living in the marsh in North Carolina. Um, she gets abandoned by her family and then has to, like, live on her own. And she falls in love and deals with life and, um, eventually gets accused of murder, which is, yeah. Um... So I enjoyed it. It's a debut novel, so it's not perfect, but overall, I thought it was good. And it's also the um, Reese Witherspoon book club book, so that's cool. Um, okay, next I have some books I read for class. Um, this is Exit West, which I'm sure you've heard lots about. Um, this is about the refugee crisis um, in an unnamed country, but the author is from Pakistan. Um, and it talks, and it's kind of a magical realist um, portrayal of it, um, and they, there's these two characters, Saeed and Nadia, and they, um, fall in love right before, um, trying to emigrate to Europe, um, yeah, so it follows them, and it's, it's a good one. All right, and then after that, I read, um, Double Indemnity. This was for my, um, LA literature class, um, it's a noir, uh, crime fiction, novel that takes place in LA about and it follows an insurance man who becomes a murderer um and it's good if you like that kind of thing I'm not very into noir because I find it kind of boring and I feel like not a lot is different between various novels but um I did enjoy it the writing's good and it's short and it's easy so if you like that kind of thing yep um, and then last I read Disgraced, um, this was also for class. I, if you can't tell, like, this is a short wrap-up because most of what I've read is for school. Um, and all my college apps were due, so I didn't read that much this month. But, um, this follows a Muslim man, or a renounced Muslim man, and his white girlfriend, and, um, who's an artist, and... It deals with themes of cultural appropriation. It's a play, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Um, and so cultural appropriation and what it, what, how religion can define a person and um, Islamophobia and all sorts of fun stuff. And it's well written and it's good and it's, it's intense. But yeah, I recommend it. It's short and it's pretty easy to read, so. So, sadly, those are all the books that I read um, in the month of October. Um, not very many, but, you know, at least I read something. Um, I'm currently reading um, Little Women for my book club because we're rereading that, which is going to be so much fun. I'm super excited because I love that book. Um, and then Jailbird by Kurt Vonnegut, which is good, but not my favorite Vonnegut book that I've read. Um, but I will review it when I finish, and I'm almost done with it, so. Um, okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice weekend.